For his thoughts, we cross to the Managing Director of the Christian Lobby, Jim Wallace. Thanks for joining us, Jim. Now, you're Thank pretty you. passionately opposed to gay adoption. Can you tell us why? Yeah, well, let me say, first of all, that the adoption that I'm opposed to particularly is this what's called stranger adoption. That is the adoption by, of a child who's orphaned uh, by a terrible tragedy or by a mother who unfortunately feels that she can't keep the child. And that child's given up as a ward of the state, and the state has an absolute responsibility to act in the best interest of the child. Now, as a father of uh, two daughters, I know that uh, my input into the development of those two daughters as a father uh, was only possible because the intimacy of my relationship as a father with those two daughters in the same way that my wife's input into their full development was only possible because of the intimacy of her relationship as a mother to daughters. And so uh, we believe that the government uh, should protect the interests of a child by making sure they put a child up for adoption into a mother-father relationship. Oh, but are you saying then that, you know, all the blended families we have in our community or the single parents, that that's not a perfect loving environment to raise a child in? Uh, look, obviously there are a lot of uh, families that find themselves in a situation where uh, there's just a single parent. And uh, I think you find, though, and certainly research tells us, that none of those parents would want to be in that situation. That they would all have set out, uh, usually, uh, to have provided a mother and a father relationship. And ideally, that's what they'd like to see their children in. Now, I have a hypothetical situation for you, Jim. Uh, two lesbians have a baby. They look after the baby wonderfully for five years. Then the birth mother dies. Uh, the other mother actually then get, finds another partner and they want to legally adopt that child. Now, they should be allowed to, shouldn't they? Well, let me say, I I'm passionately concerned for the rights of a child, the best interests of the child, in whatever sort of parenting situation they find themselves. And uh, I would believe that uh, if it's necessary uh, to change legislation to ensure the rights of those uh, parents in that situation should be done. We've actually uh, actually changed about or over 100 pieces of legislation between state and federal governments in order to ensure the rights of children and parenting rights within a, a great array of uh, family situations and particularly same-sex situations. Jim, so if Jim, we have to amend Jim, another five or uh, ten, no, but wait a if we have to amend another five or ten, well, let's go ahead and do it. But let's not try and you know, fix this nut with this hammer of same-sex adoption. Well, yeah, OK, on that nut and hammer, mm. this, let's keep some perspective on this. Western Australia has had the uh, Lesbian and Gay Reform Act since 2002, mm. which allows for uh, same-sex couples to adopt children. It has happened in the eight years that that's been in effect once. Mm. And it wasn't a stranger adoption, it was where the, uh, the gay couple was selected by the birth parents. This is hardly a threat to children, it's hardly a threat to the institution mm. of marriage, surely. No, but the, the point is that uh, the governments have a responsibility to make sure that the legislation that they put in place covers any situation to the best interests of the child. Now, there's no doubt that the best interest of every child is to have a mother and a father. Obviously, there are situations where uh, people aren't able to have that through the, the cards that they're dealt in life. But if we've got the government dealing out the cards and its responsibility is to act in the best interests of the child, then clearly they should be placing children into a mother-father situation. Well, it'll certainly be very interesting to see how this conscious vote goes in New South Wales. But thanks for chatting to us tonight, Jim Wallace from the Australian Christian no, Thank you very much. Thank you. It's an interesting thing because I suppose we're, we're all worried about, you know, what for the development of the child and, and psychologists and scientists have been following this and they've compared same-sex children growing up in same-sex marriages versus I suppose, nuclear families and they've found that the, the prevalence of mental illness and drug issues and social isolation, it's the same between the two. So it's one of those things we're evolving in as a community. I suppose we're going to have to deal with it at some point.